All right, hello, hello. We are back on Sendrith, the cleric in the Yard of Unrest. <clears throat> we were soloing here for a bit. Was like, yeah, I don't really want to record a video right now. And then picked up into this tr in this group that was kind of breaking up, so it broke down to a trio. And I still didn't even think of recording. And then we just had all of a sudden, like almost in the middle of a fight, the ogre tank had to go AFK. Oh my gosh, we had like four mobs. And the pet was almost dead. I healed him up. He almost died again. The mage went in there, was tanking, and then he couldn't take any more. I ran in there, was tanking, meleeing. I got down to like 7% HP. The pet was like almost dead. We're both completely out of mana. We just barely survived. It was epic. It was so fun. I wish I had recorded. I really do. So anyway, here we are, level 15. I haven't been playing this guy as much as I was planning to. Just been having too much fun on that necro. Too much necro fun. So, glad to have the ogre back, that's for sure. Hot damn. <laughs> Let's see how the XP is. We're at 41%, just barely into it. I'm glad I have this little extra, you know, this little blue bar that breaks down the, the percentage. 42, we got a, a slightly more. It was like 1.01% on that. Super cool. We're still trying to level our alteration, so I am using light heal when I, when I can. There we go, it's still going up too. 61. 62, wow. Super lucky right now. I guess the ogre had to take like an emergency poop. Sounds like a pretty ogre thing to have to do all of a sudden. So it's just three of us, and I'm kind of happy to keep it that way, to be honest. What is Contagion? He's a Shadow Knight. You need, you need to leave Contagion? I guess he needs to go, because he's looking for more tanks. That's a bummer. Let's see who he's, uh... Who he's fighting. He's starting with the skeleton. Let me help blast that down. Boom. And let me hit him with a nice heal. We're going to use the real heal here. Since we're getting so many ads. That allows us to sit down. See, the beetles just hop in. I would like to loot these corpses. But I'm going to hide them. Because it's just, I want to see what we're dealing with here. I'll survive without looting the corpses. I'm sorry about the rain, but I did turn down the volume, so you shouldn't be hearing it too much, but the lightning's probably coming through nice and loud. Loud enough, anyway. Okay, let's, let's chain cast some light heals, try to get some alteration skill. Oh, no, he's, his HP's going down too fast. We need to use the big boy. Boom. Mana stone. Plus light heal. We're going to be uh, on another ad. They, they just keep piling in. I hope that, uh, hope we can handle it. Well, they're, they're dying too. So we're back down to two. This is the unrest yard, man. I, when I was soloing in here, it was touch and go. I mean, you got to be super careful when you solo in the yard. It's 
usually when I play solo cleric, I don't come here until I'm at a level where I'm ready to go inside. That's like, I forget if it's 16 or 18. 18 is probably. When you're ready to go in and fight inside, you don't have all this stuff wandering around inside. You got one patrol, and that's it. That's the, uh, that's the way to do. Luckily, the mage has clarity for two more minutes. That's probably what saved our bacon before, is, is that he had clarity. Wow, that beetle's on the run. And we didn't pick up ads for some reason. I thought we would. Okay, we're going to hit the mana stone. We're only at 10% now. So I'm getting super excited talking with Wolfdar about our uh, plans for... for their hardcore characters. Him and I are ready to go. We're excited. I think Classic's really more... He's just bogged down with work. He's had like seven or eight days of work or something straight, and his friend is at his level, so I think he's excited to play with his friend, the, the, the Necro duo. And he also, his friend is leveling so fast, I think Classic wants to, to push the Necro to make sure he keeps pace, doesn't want to get left behind by his Necro friend. That sounds like a fun duo anyway, especially since on Quorum they allow them to stack the dots. So, <clears throat> I get that. I was hoping to get everybody who's going to do it on f together to start. So we do the random rolls and I can capture it in a video. You see what I roll. We can hear other people tell us what they rolled. And Wolfdar and I are talking about whether or not we should just do completely random roll. whether or not we should just do like a completely random roll. And that's where you just, you open the character select and then whatever you're looking at there, that's it. Whatever race, whatever class, that's what you are. Um, or if we should do like pick a starting city and then roll within that city, which I don't think like, cause some cities have multiple races. So maybe then we'd have to use some sort of number generator, assign a number to each race, assign a number to each class like that. Um, or uh, one person does a complete random roll, and then the other people choose that race. And I think you can pick the race and still get the class randomly on the character select, if I'm not mistaken. I think when you open character select, it gives you a random race and class. And then if you switch the race, it will try to keep the same class unless it's unavailable. If that class is unavailable in the race, it will re-roll the class. I think that's how it works. So... Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Got a dangerous little run through the yard here. Trying to be careful. Babor got in a fight, but he handled it, I guess. Vabober. Yeah, this seems like a safer, safer camp. Let's... Shit, I'm trying to grab this... Greater Skeleton. Oh, we got ads. Okay, let's try to root one of them. Hell yeah, look at that Clara CC. And then let's try to help take care of this guy. Boom. Mana Stone up. Why did Mana Stone not hit? There we go. And throw a couple heals out. Now, apparently the undead do not assist the beetles, which is interesting. I thought they would. So I guess this, uh... This Shadow Knight wants to leave. He's been playing a while. Which is unfortunate. It's nice having a tank to go with the Cleric. 
but I can tank, baby. This is Yard Trash. I got the Ruby BP, and we got the Mage Pet. So that's that's gonna be the real tank. <laughs> In fact, I should probably buff it, give it some more HP. What you got there, Rusty Dagger? So yeah, super excited, but I do want to have the freedom to reject. Like a cl I don't know if I should reject a cleric. If I roll a cleric, that's a pretty wonderful class to have in a group, except you can't res. And I'm, I'm semi-tempted to just pick the class and everything so we can have like a really good synergy going on as a group or a duo. Like I, I'm really kind of hoping I get Shaman, but I would also have fun with a Necro, even though I would probably die, let's be honest. As a Necro, I'd probably get smoked. Wow, I love it how fast the skill ups are here on the cleric as opposed to the ranger. Alteration just keeps going up so fast. We've gotten a whole bunch of alteration since we started here. 3, 4, 3, 5, 63, 64. A whole bunch of skill ups just in general. We were soloing and getting defense. We defense maxed out to 75. I think offense maybe as well. Yes, so we got defense and offense maxed out. Got our skills right up there. So it looks like we're breaking down into a duo. This the Sham the Shadow Knight was really kind. He was trying to get a rep for himself, but was unable to do so. But he, he seems to be sticking around for a little bit. Toklar's Battle Hammer is rotting a 628. No drop. That's good for somebody who's not a twink like me. 628, whereas the Shark Bone is 826. So, ooh. Flipped it around on you there, didn't I? Okay, we're going to need to use our mana for heals, not for nukes. I'm so tempted to nuke this undead, but there we go. Got to heal it up and see if we can get another one. Yep, we get another one. Boom, cranking it up. Tell him I'm out of mana. Let's see what time it is. I just finished recording another video. I'm just pumping them out. If I play, I'm like, why not record? Why not record? And as you can tell, I do. I record a lot more of the of the gameplay than classic. And I, I kept trying to re rotate to his thing. But I know when I'm recording, I my brain starts thinking of more stuff to say. I want to share the share the combat. So. There's a, I'm sorry for those of you who don't like all the different characters, but I just have too much fun with the rotation thing. And I know you might be invested in Mero and I can tell by the number of views, I can see the variance. Um, so it seems like people are not so happy with the different characters or maybe they're not just not happy. They're just like, eh, I just won't watch this one. Or maybe I'll watch it later and they forget about it because they're more invested in Mero because that's what I was doing for so long, just Marrow. But I encourage you to check out the the Necro video, the P99 Red solo Necro. I'm having so much fun with it. I'm loving it. And so there's a, it's got two more videos of that will be coming out. I'm, I'm trying to release a video each day. So if you do only like a certain character or series, I should call it, um, they're all going to be in a playlist first off, like each character's got its own playlist. So if you want to catch up and watch one character all together, you go to the playlist and it should just play, you know, down the list. Um, and, uh, they, don't worry. You just wait. You just, if you see a video of a character, a fresh video that you don't want to watch, I'm not going to just like stop doing any of the characters. I'm going to be bouncing around on them. See, here I am on Sendrith. I was recently on Miana. The Necro, like one or two of them I might get really into for a hot minute and put a few videos out, but I will not abandon uh, any of them. Except for, I think, Sendrith on Red, the solo self-found cleric. I think I'm going to 
since I'm doing Sendrith here on Quorum, I think that one's going to be put on the back burner for now. I'm sorry for those of you who are enjoying that series. I was enjoying the series, and I think I would again if I were to log back on and go somewhere else. But the Giant Fort is just breaking my heart. I really need to get back to Unrest. That's what I'll do. I will take that, that Sendrith back to Unrest at some point. And uh, that'll be a more fun video, because he, sh he truly shines in Unrest. Uh, I'll be more comfortable there. XP will be flowing there. Right now, and you know, I was thinking the reason that I went to kill the giants in Warslix Woods was because they dropped some forest loop earrings, which give like three wisdom. Nice. But I think actually, as a solo cleric, I need charisma more. Especially on P99, where charisma is an important thing. So, what I'm thinking is, I don't even really want to wear those earrings. I'd rather get the earrings from the barkeep here in Unrest that do 5 charisma. That's an extra 10 charisma. Because later, I'm going to be pulling with lol and stuff, and it's going to get crazy. <laughs> so, we need our comms to land successfully as often as possible that's going to be one of the most one of the most important quality of life uh effects that we can possibly even have uh oh looks like contagion is afk or something and he's got quite the crew beating on him looks like a couple of death beetles let's see hide corpse all yeah, he's got two death beetles and an undead but he's holding up you know he's an ogre i'm gonna throw him some Light heals, get our skill ups. Way more opportunities for skill ups with the light heals, but I can barely out heal the damage they take. That's the problem. Now I should stop throwing out nukes. I should really recover mana just in case things get hairy. But I'm, I'm playing it loose lately. Not a good, well yeah, we're good for now. But like, what if we get like six beetles and two undead and I'm, I've got the kind of mana I got right now. It would get hairy. So it's better as a cleric. And I, this is what I usually do. You, you just keep like 40% mana at least. Maybe 50% mana just in your back pocket. You don't do anything unnecessary until you've got that, that pool replenished. So I got to get back in that habit. I just am so eager to get involved sometimes. So, this is not entirely necessary, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to, going to refresh the holy armor that just dropped off of myself, and I'm going to refresh it on the tank. That way, when mine drops, I know his will be dropping. I think it, his might already have dropped, but I'm not sure. But this way, I'll be sure next time. I really should... I have end parse up. I should, uh... I should use the spells bar. It doesn't seem to... I just turned it on, so... Our level right now... Is 15. There we go. I'm tempted to cast another center just to see if the spell bar is working. There we go. Yeah. There. So that makes it much easier to keep track of my buffs. Oh, you can't see that. Well, maybe I should let you see it. Oh, you can. It's popping up. Very nice. Let's move it right there so you can also see my spell bar. Man is going up slow. XP is going up all right. Feels a bit slow as well. Okay. Now he's got two guys beating on him. This is a good time for us to potentially get some level ups on our heels. Let me try to move forward a little bit and zoom out so you can get some view 
It's not just the back of this ogre. There, that's much better. I apologize for not doing this sooner. I just, uh, it's an awkward thing to do because it makes maneuvering much more difficult if I have to move for some reason. We almost got alteration caught up. Our, our cap is 80, alteration's at 66. We're gonna get it maxed, and then we should be an excellent healer. Far less fizzles. Channeling is maxed, that's good, but still, man. Interrupts are really bad, I thought, on this server, but I was talking with my friend about it. And he says they're bad at the low levels, but when you got like 200 channeling, it starts to be, it starts to be fine. So, and P99 seems way better at the low levels than on this server. Like, my Necro's getting beat on, still usually not interrupted. Pulling off casts most of the time, occasionally interrupted. Whereas on this server, it's like usually interrupted most of the time, occasionally pulling off a cast. It's, it's, very, it's definitely different. But... I think they just made the skills and the skills effect more potent, is what it seems like. So this is a very inefficient way to heal because not only is the bigger heal slightly more efficient mana to HP wise, but also you just cast it once, whereas this one you're chain casting, so that's a bunch of med time you're not getting. But we want those skill ups. Again, here I forgot to give a better view. Looks like a, a druid. Oh, it's Wolfdar! Yeah! Hey, hey! Hey, Wolfdar. Yeah, me and him are ready to go with these hardcore characters, dude. It's gonna be so cool. Just talking to the camera about our HC plans. Wolfdar. Nice. I barely have to heal now. Look at this. Very nice. Nice. I need to make an assist key. That's what I gotta do. Okay. It's really quick if you know what you're doing. Assist slash assist and his name is Contagions. Boom. I've gotten much faster at that. Used to intimidate me. Okay, I gotta get back into first person. I apologize, but I don't want any of this loot to go to waste. Every bit counts, you know? So now let's see if it works. Boom, it does. Boom! I gotta be honest. I'm hoping for a Barbarian Shaman. I think just starting over there and that... I've never really... I started like once. I did like a Shaman to like level 6 for fun. Drax, sending me tells. That's Turpentine. He said he's not interested, but he'll watch the hardcore videos, which is unfortunate. I thought it would have been cool if we got, like, a whole group. And that's another reason I kind of want to just pick a race, at least, and randomize class. Or maybe just pick our race and our class. Because it would be cool for all, like, a group from the same village or something. You know what I mean? They'd be like, what's that show that... Oh, I read this most of the series. The Robert Jordan... Oh, Ring of... Not the Ring of Fire. I forget what it's called. And they made a TV show recently that's okay. 
And I never finished the book series. Circle of... Oh. But anyway. There's the Dragon Reborn. You know that one. The Dragon Reborn. You know. You guys are e play EQ, so... You know your uh, fantasy. I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. Anyway. All those kids come from that village in the TV show. It's not how it really is in the book. But, uh... Well, I guess it is. Like, two or three of them are from that village. Just poor kids from a little village. And uh, they're on hardcore. You know, if they die, they dead. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't want to do another ranger. I don't really want to do another cleric. You know what I'm saying? So if I get either of those, I think I'll re-roll. Although I'll think twice about the cleric. I should think twice about the ranger. It's actually a really good class. You got snare. You can tank. You do decent deep. No, well, you do DPS. <laughs> right. Let's see what else. See what he's working on here. Let's finish this guy off. Boom. What else? An SK would be kind of cool. Again, I, I'm feeling the Necro, even though I think, you know, I would probably die earlier with a Necro. Enchanter would be tough. That would be tough as... I, I would... Oh, God. That would be super tough. Levi's idea was any class we already have. We don't want to play again, right? So if that class comes up, we roll random again. And I already have an enchanter, so that would that would free me from the dangers of enchanter. But if we got an enchanter, though, it would also help in a lot of ways with the mezzing and whatnot. But the problem is that when mez breaks, they come for the enchanter, you know? I, that enchanter's got to be on the ball. to save their own life. I would have to definitely use the spell bar like I'm using now so I could see when those mezzes are going to fall off and refresh them in time. And I'd have to have a very clear escape plan for when I run out of mana and there's mobs, mezz, and whatnot. I'd be like, sorry guys, bounce now. Bounce now. <laughs> My beetles found me, says Contagions. Here they come. Four of them. Four of them, perfect. Wolfdar's like, if you want to get in on that, I can throw you the buffs too. And I'm like, no, it's fine, but maybe a Chloral so I can Mana Stone. That way I can nuke more. You know what I'm saying? Woohoo! Alright, we don't need the buff right now. And I'm gonna pull up my living nuke, because it looks like we're gonna be rolling in mana. Woot woot. So now I gotta mana stone a whole bunch more. Well, let's see if we can't get some mushrooms. They actually sell pretty good, and they drop like crazy off of these beetles. And they stack. Oh, a pristine care piece. That's a good find. Oh gosh. I gotta hurry because I'm almost full HP. And I got a mana stone. Shabam! Mana stone again. Wow. Now, now I'm gonna be busy. Heh <laughs> It just keeps coming back. I gotta like constantly mana stone. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to get the other death beetle. Okay, now that he killed that one. Oh, that's it. Okay. Got a mana stone again. Well, not many level ups on alteration now. Unless we heal ourselves. We're like mana stone and heal ourselves. That'd be funny. That's what we're doing. 
<laughs> well, we're up to 77%. I think we're going to level. Don't have much else to say. I'm going to pause the video for now. But check in soon. Never seen a shield on these guys before. That's interesting. All right. Looks like we added Renee. Well, Renee, a 13 bard. Welcome, Renee. Whoa, now that, my friends, is a pull. That is a pull. I might actually have to work at keeping people alive now. Look at that. This this SK is just getting stunned like for days, dude. Stuns for days. I'm just in a double mana stone, so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Jeez, it's just like so fast. Wow, this SK cannot get it. He's not even swinging, it looks like. Wow, and HP is already coming back. It's just crazy. Wow. We're just ripping it now. We are ripping it. The yard is ours, baby. We need to pull the... pull. Don't forget to pull the gazebo itself, which is technically our can. Boom. Alright. Still grinding it out, but the uh, the bard had a great suggestion to use AOE. I forgot I have an AOE spell. So we're going to make that our number five. Get rid of our incoming key, which we don't really need. Snaggleberries. Look at this pole. Am I paused? No, I am not. Look at this pole. It's time for the AoE, baby. Boom. I, I don't know if it worked. It seemed like it worked. Okay, that guy's almost dead. Let's do it again. Boom. Woot. AoE is fun.
Well, we're drawing pretty close to leveling up here. I am like a freaking wizard. Just nuking all fucking day. Kids could be home any minute. I better... And I'm gonna have to make dinner. Make some pizza. I'm gonna make some bomb pizza. Make my own sauce. A whole however many yards. Shabam! Hope you like that. Smack it up on you, ghoul. Ghouls are supposed to be one of the tougher mobs around, but they seem to be conning blue to me. I thought they'd be yellow or red, but no. Now let me reorganize my bags, because I got some heavy stuff in my bags that don't help with weight. And I got some light stuff in the bags that do. There we go. Got us back under weight quite nicely. Let me hit the mana stone a couple times. So, I've been playing too much EQ when I have all that downtime. It shows that my brain's getting tired even if I don't feel it. So we did a whole level on this video. Very nice. Unrest is a good, good place for us to be. We'll be 16. Hopefully Fappy's still 21. That's fine. But we're still going to try to push up. But as far as I'm concerned, we're caught up. As long as we can get XP, we can heal him. So, it works out. He can just uh, power level us. <laughs> Maybe Wolfdar will help and we'll just rip it up. But I like playing without the buffs too. It's fun. Both are fine. Alright, we got four more percent. Got quite the pull in here. Let's do, a, let's do an AoE this time. There we go. Let's do an assist. He's on the ghoul, but the ghoul's almost dead. So let's do again with the AoE. Boom. But the AoE feels so delayed. I don't know if it's lag or... Because it's not... I'm not noticing that delay on, like, my other nukes. The other nukes are just, boom, right in there. You know what I mean? Got an opportunity to heal a little bit. But yeah, we only, we got 2% off of that big pull. I'm hoping to find more, there we go, more mushrooms or pristine carry pieces. Those are nice. I think they sell decently. My mouse seems to be like, when I hold my mouse to look around, it seems to be like letting go when I'm still holding sometimes. I don't know if it's a hardware issue or a software issue. Gonna blast down this ghoul. And then let's do a let's target one of the other ones. And do our AoE. Hopefully he's close enough. I can't see what happened. It looks like it just got him. I think they gotta be like practically on top of each other to have the effect that I'm looking for for the AoE. That's what it seems like anyway. Let's try it again. Boom. Schooling him. Man, we're just like doing so much damage. 99% we're gonna ding on this next kill. It's it's like 99% and that percent is capped. Here it goes. Let's let's get our own ding. How's that sound? We're gonna get our own ding. Boom, why did I not hear anything? Huh, I didn't hear the 
That's weird. But here we are, level 16. Level 16. All right, you guys. We're logging off here. We already got 5% in. We could just keep going. This is nice XP, but... Um, the kids are going to be home any second. I'd rather be making dinner when my wife walks in the door than playing a video game on the computer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're going to leave this group. Wolfdar is going to take us to BB. Hopefully these guys are okay. They're gonna lose their druid buffs. Maybe Wolfdar will come back. I get the sense he enjoys this. I would too. This is fun. You like find a group of guys and you help them level faster. You know how much it means to them. Seems fun to me. You know, I mean, what else are you gonna do when you're 50? Try to farm some plat? Port? I guess, maybe. Let's, let's knock, knock it out, buddy. Knock it out. Leave me alone. So we're gonna sell here. There's a vendor here. And then we'll be done. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next video.